Hi, I'm George Strunk. Welcome to Christ in Me. We've been thinking for six weeks about the kind of things we can throw off, and this week we come to the most difficult one, superiority and pride. In 30 years of ministry, I've had lots of people come to me and say, you know, I have difficulty with the problem of resentment and mismanaged angers. I need some help with that, Pastor. I have people who come to me and say, I need some help with anxiety and fear that's wrecking my life and causing trouble in others. I've even had people come to me and say, Pastor, help me with the greed. I'm tired of the consumerism culture that I'm living in. I want a different life. And treatment centers and 12-step programs are full of people who come seeking help because compulsions to have more of something is wreaking havoc in their life. But in 30 years of ministry, I've never had anybody come to me and say, Pastor, I need help with my feelings of superiority. We just never see it in ourselves. That's why Jesus tells a story in the 18th chapter of Luke about two people who went up to their place of worship to get closer to God. And yet one person, the higher he climbed, the further away from God he became. Why? Because he was measuring his spiritual journey according to the number of activities he was, was participating in instead of the kind of person that he was becoming. Because Jesus knew that you can either love people or you can try to impress people but you can't do both and this one was trying to impress others instead of love them how about ourselves is this the week you can turn the mirror inside your own heart and see if it's pure see if it's true somebody has a personality that you can't quite stomach somebody wears some clothes that you don't like somebody likes music that doesn't agree with you Somebody's politics are different from your own. Somebody's theology seems a little strange to you. Somebody's going a little further in the behavior than you've ever gone in your own life. Maybe there's somebody in your own family that you don't seem to be able to control. And you fold your arms and you cluck your tongue and you wag your head and you close your heart and you don't even see it. That your lovelessness is worse than any personality fault that you may be pointing out in their behavior. Jesus is real concerned about that, so this week in your group, take a look at where it is that you may be missing the mark in terms of your own feelings of superiority toward others, and how it is that you can do some correction in your own life. It's been a great series. I hope you're going to think more about how Christ can be formed in your life. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday in church.